Oakland! Okay, we picked up Mrs. Oakland and now we're gonna take a tour around Mercado. Hello, Mrs. Oakland. Mrs. Oakland, what are we doing finding you in Mankato? I moved to Mankato about a year ago in June. So every night I drive home here to Mankato, Cody. What's been some of your experiences living in Mankato? Mankato is so cool. In the summertime, we load up our bicycles and we go down and ride on a trail. So what do you think of the limousine ride? I think this limousine is cool. I rode one once in Washington, D.C., and we were squished in it like sardines in a can. You went to Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Did you see the president? Did you win in the White House? Yep, we took a tour of the White House, yeah. And when we were there, the statue on top of the Capitol building was down on the ground. And when we were, they were refurbishing it, fixing it up. And when we were there, they took the helicopter and put it back on top of the Capitol. What were you doing all in Washington, D.C.? We wanted to see some of our country's sites. Cool. What was the president out there when you saw him? He was giving a speech that day, so he was on the lawn and we had to be very careful when we went through. They put us through all the metal detectors and everything else, so it was... So you wouldn't hurt him or anything? You're right. Do you know we're recording right now using night vision? No, I had no idea. Look at the camera and wave. <laughs> Hi, peoples! This is sweet. Now we are officially in Sibley Park. Pretty big place. John, thanks for taking us out to Sibley Park. Can you tell us a little about this place? Yeah, this is a good destination for, for kids and weddings. In the summertime, they have more animals here. And uh, we have a, our famous limo llama in the background here. So we always like to stop by and see how the limo llama is doing. He's cool. Oh, you're calling him your pet. Sure, I just, I, they, they just keep him here for me. But they usually have a lot more deer here and more animals in the summer, ducks and geese. So we like to come through here a lot with parties in the summertime or anytime. Did you actually have the llama at your house? Did you actually keep that for a little while? We, we let him keep the llama here at the park. Okay, I was just wondering. Thanks, John. We're going to check out some of the animals. Yeah. How many years have you been driving here? Limousine, sorry. Oh, we've been doing this for about five, six years. Mostly weddings and proms and birthdays and anniversaries. People like to have fun. Where do you start your limo when you're not driving? In the garage. Hopefully. What kind of garage? A corn crib. Cool. Mrs. Elkin, what's your favorite animal in Sibley Park? I like the peacocks when they're here in the summertime. That's cool. All right, John, let's keep on cruising in the limo. Okay, let's go to McDonald's. We were just at Sibley Park in Mankato, and we saw a limo, llama, ducks. No, 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 no. There were no ducks, but there were llamas, goats, and some type of bird that really freaked me out. Hey, John, what kind of chickens were the... Oh, guinea hen. John said that those little bird things were guinea hens. Now we're going to go to the drive through at McDonald's. I've never been through a drive through in a limousine. We just dropped off Mrs. Oaken and she's gonna give us some cookies. And we were getting some popcorns, we spilled ours in the limo. Yeah. Pepsi, Pepsi. This is Woody, Mrs. Oaken's dog. Woody. We better get going, guys. The limo guy is waiting. Thank you, Mrs. Oaken, for our cookies and pop. You're welcome. Come cookies and pop. We just got a property plumage by Mrs. Oakland. Thank you, Mrs. Oakland. John, you having fun? Yeah, this is great. 
Except for us dropping all the pop in, in the floor. Sorry. That's okay. John, thanks for laughing the normal ride. Yeah, it's been fun. We'll have to do it again sometime. Yeah. Can we do it? We're here in Best Buy in Mankato, Minnesota. This is pretty big. Nick's gonna show us how on first. Come over here, Nick. Where are we gonna start today? We're gonna start with the video games and then go back to uh, TV land and end up in the cell phones and the iPods. Cool. Can we go, can we check out the video games first? Yep, that's where we're going. Yeah. Nick, can you tell us where we're at now? Uh, we're at the Xbox 360 right now and your friends are playing Viva Pinata. Viva Pinata! What's the point of that game? Uh, in Viva Pinata, you actually start a city and you build pinatas and build animals and they live in their colonies. So, so you mean if I play that game, I can build a, a robot, a robot pinata, or anything I want? Uh, you have to earn. You have to earn the different pinatas. You start off with just very basic ones, but yeah, you could get big pinatas by the end. Are you having a good time? Yeah, we are. Cody, you having a good time? Of course I am. Well, okay. Nick, what's all on these aisles? This is where all of our video games and all our controllers are, along with the computer games and then some movies. We're going to check them all out. Good. What kind of accessories do you have for these games? Well, for most of the video game systems, the number one accessory is a new controller or a memory card to save your games. Uh, for the handheld machines, it's more for portability and if you want to bring it with you in your car or bring it with you to school or do that kind of stuff, uh, listening to music with them or watching movies as well. How much memory does a data card hold? Uh, some of the memory cards determining in, in songs can hold up to a thousand songs. Most of them uh, will save any game that you want um, and then everything else that you would need for basic songs. But depending on the size of the card would really value how many songs you can have. Hey Nick, what are these guys doing? These guys are playing my favorite game. It's called Guitar Hero. That's cool. In Guitar Hero, you've got to hit the buttons when they come on the screen and then you just you make your own music. It's a great game. It looks fun. What are these cases that the games are in? David, the cases are for uh, different video games. It's a theft deterrent, so people can't take them without buying them. So you mean, so you mean it'll go ding, ding, ding it, uh, at the door if, it, if somebody's trying to steal it? That's exactly right. Why in the world will try, people try doing that? Well, if they don't want to pay for it, it's just an easier way for them to get it, but something that I've never been a fan of. Yeah. I see why. We have, a, we have a camera system here at Best Buy to uh, prevent theft in the store. The big thing with, with, with theft is is, is that uh, more of the people steal items from retail stores that affects the uh, retail customer. But when you look at here at the camera, you can look at this person right here, but to actually, look at, we can zoom right in. That's how detailed we can get. So, no, she didn't, nobody looks, knows that we're looking at him. But the big thing is, is, is this is, is, is to help protect our customers and all that type of stuff in, within the store. But uh, also for part of the deal is what loss prevention does too, is, is check receipts when the customer comes in and, or when they leave the store. When they leave the store, we want to make sure that the receipt is correct, the box is correct, because there's a lot of computers and a lot of stuff are in the same style looking box. We want to make sure that everything is correct on them so that they have customer satisfaction. Do you have one of... Of one over going over there? This camera goes 360 degrees. Whoa. Hiya, people. Where are, where are we? Right over there. Right over there. Right over there. Hi, us. Move. Those, See that those TV black that's things down the over there? Down? Yep. Hey, Rick, this is pretty awesome stuff. Yes, it is. It's called Eye in the Sky. Thank you for showing us. You're welcome. What is this game all about? You take control of a little man named Daxter and you go through his world and you defeat the uh, the bad guys and the enemies along the way. So what, what kind of animal is he? I think he's a squirrel, but I'm not really sure. He was more like a weasel. Oh, a weasel. What do those letters mean on the game? Every game is like a movie where it's got its own rating and the games range anywhere from E, which is for everyone, all the way up to M, which is for adults only and mature titles. What this is the A and stuff? 
Uh, well, this is an E. This is a game that anyone can play. And then right here, this is a T for teen. This one would have more guns and more shooting in it. And it also says on the back why it's rated that way, just like a movie is. That's something really good for, a parent, for parents to know. Yes, it is. Nick, what game advice is this? This one's the new Nintendo Wii. It's the most popular video game system really in the entire world right now. We have none in our store and it's very hard to keep. What does it make so popular? Uh, it's the very first vi video game system that is interactive where you use a remote controller that looks like your TV remote and you actually do the actions to make the player or the computer do the things on the TV. This looks like it can get someone in shape. Yeah, it's very nice because it's interactive where you actually have to do the motions and you're going to be moving the whole time you play. You're not just using your thumbs anymore. How does that remote work? The remote is called a Wiimote and it attaches to your wrist with a strap that it comes with. And if you're playing a bowling game, you would physically hold the remote in your hand and bowl it like you're pretending to bowl in your house. And then the bowler on the screen would react the same way you do at your house. That's cool. Where do you guys want to go next? TV! TV! Now we're interviewing Leah. <laughs> Hi, Leah. Where are we at, Leah? We're in the Best Buy home theater section by all the TVs. They're pretty big. They are pretty big. What's your favorite thing at working in this department? My favorite thing is I get to watch TV all day at work. We have some really nice TVs, and you get to learn a lot, and I work with a lot of really friendly people as well. That's cool. Have you ever seen technology change around here? Oh yes, definitely. Um, we've gone from big, huge tube TVs. Now we have TVs that you can hang on the wall. And they're really nice and big, too. Hey, Nick, have you ever seen technology change before? A little bit. I remember being younger and growing in my grandma's house having the old console TV. But I, do, uh, I now have one of these big screens in my house, too. That's cool. Let's check out some of these things. Leah, what's your favorite one? My, definitely my favorite one would have to be a Pioneer. It's right over here. It's a 60 inch plasma and it is absolutely gorgeous. What's different about plasma and LCD? LCD is going to have a little bit slower refresh rate. And what that basically means is if you're watching something with a lot of motion, um, it's going to be a little bit blurred. Whereas plasma has a really quick, nice refresh rate. It moves at the speed of electricity, so you could watch football on there or action movies and nothing will be blurred. Also plasma has a little bit higher contrast, so your blacks will look really nice and black and all your color will look great, so you'll have a really nice depth. Um, LCD on the other hand though, does have a little higher resolution. So, What's 1080p? 1080p is going to be how many lines of resolution that you have. Um, 1080p is basically the best resolution that you can get right now. In fact, we have a nice little Blu-ray player you can get 1080p on. What's Blu-ray? Blu-ray is a newer technology. It's kind of similar to a DVD. You have it on the same disc as a DVD, but it um, actually reads with a blue laser. So it's kind of neat. It does sound kind of neat. Aren't the PlayStation 3 at Blu-ray? Yes, they are. Um, they're an awesome game console, and they have the latest technology in the Blu-ray as well. If you buy a TV, do you need to buy anything else? Oh, yes, definitely. You'll need the correct cables to hook up your high definition. You'll need a power center so you can have everything filtered out and have a really nice, clean, crisp picture. And then, of course, you'll want a surround sound as well, too, so you can get the full movie theater experience. What is different about a plasma TV and a projected TV? A plasma TV is going to be able to just hang right on your wall and every single pixel is like a fuse. Um, whereas a projection TV is going to have a big back on the end and it's actually going to be hollow but there's going to be a light bulb in there projecting onto the screen and you have to change that light bulb every so couple years or so. We're going to check out some of these things. All right. Leah, these TVs are big. You bet they are. We kind of refer to them like they're in the dinosaur era. But these TV, big TVs will be made much longer? Um, I'm hoping that they're really heavy to move and to get down from the shelves. Hey guys, can you hook computers onto any of these things? Yeah, you betcha. I wouldn't recommend it on a plasma, but an LCD can handle anything. 
almost any one of our TVs now can be hooked into a computer. So you can change your monitor from a 12 inch all the way up to a 45 inch monitor for your computer. What do you think, guys think a TV is going to be like in the future? I have two thoughts and it's going to be touch screen and it's going to be voice activated. You're not going to have a remote anymore. You're just going to tell your TV what channel you want to watch. Another thing too is they are coming out with new laser TVs in the next couple years. So that's something to look forward to. Let's go check out a couple of other things quick. What is Austin looking at? What he's watching right now are portable DVD players. They're awesome. A lot of people like to watch them in the car. Do you take long car rides? Yeah. Wouldn't it kind of be nice to have one of these guys with you? I heard you guys like, like Star Wars and I saw you guys were watching it over there. Who's your favorite character? Chewbacca! You guys like Chewbacca? Can you do Chewbacca's sound? No. <laughs> okay, try. That's a good try. Nick, what are we taking a look at now? We're looking at all the digital cameras and the camcorders that we have in our store. There's a lot of new things with the cameras and the camcorders, so. How did the change over the years? Over, uh, well, about 10 years ago, you had to put the camcorder over your shoulder and actually wear it, and it was huge, and it took a, a full-size VHS, but now you can actually not use any kind of disc or tape. You can record right to the camera, and it's only about the size of your hand. Like this one right here? Yep, just like that one. But a lot smaller. Yeah, well, a little bit smaller. What is this for? That actually is for the disc that you would put in there, and you can save right to a miniature CD, and then you can put that CD in your home DVD player and watch a video or a slideshow of all your family pictures or family Christmas. So this, this is kind of like a new one? Uh, yeah, it's actually pretty new. That one's made by Sony, but there are some other ones out there as well. So, What other formats can you return to? Uh, there's another kind that you can record to called Mini DV, which uses a small miniature cassette. And the newest style records right to a hard drive like a computer, and it records directly to the camcorder. And those are right behind me. Can you show us one? Yep, we're on the way. Show us what these, Nick. Now, these ones right behind you, David, are the new ones that have a hard disk built right into them, just like a computer. And with this one, you physically record it right to the machine. You never put a disk or any kind of tape in it. You just record with here, and then you hook it up to your computer, and you make your own home video. Are these a hard drive? Yep, they're the new hard drive ones. How big is this hard drive? Uh, this has got a 30 gigabyte hard drive and it can record in a certain amount of hours uh, just like on your computer. Okay. So it's really important to understand gigabytes and megabytes. Yeah, with the hard drive computers you want to be pretty tech savvy and know a lot about the computers just so you can work it and get the full power of the camera. Okay. Yeah, if you guys have a computer class you better pay attention. What's a megapixel? A megapixel is a very small part of the image and if you have a million megapixels or six, a lot of megapixels it makes a better image. Yep, just like a square for the PSP. I have, I, I have a PSP. Mine, ha, mine has the same thing. Yep. Do you have still cameras? We do have still cameras. Uh, they're kind of referred to now as digital cameras because they've gotten away from uh, using an old roll of film. Let's go look at those right now. I have those. What do we got here, guys? These are all of our digital cameras where we have uh, regular digital cameras and the new single lens reflex or the SLR cameras. They're pretty nice. If a person wants to buy a camera, how many me meta megapixels should he, get, he or she get in the camera? Well, it really depends on how big they want to blow their, cam their pictures up. If you want to just get regular 4x6s, you can get away with like a 5 megapixel. If you want to blow your pictures up a little bigger though, you're going to have to get a little higher megapixels. That's exactly right. Leah, how many years did it take you to get used to this equipment? Well, to tell you the truth, it's always changing, so I'm always getting used to it. Um, initially, it took me a couple of months, but now I, now I learned to pick up a little quicker. Okay. Leah, what's one of your favorite parts about working in the store? I always get to learn new technology. My coworkers are awesome, and I get to do fun things like interview with you guys. Nick, do you have fun when, do you have fun when you come to work? I have fun every day I come into work. I've worked in the store for seven years now. I've been working in here since you guys were little kids. Is there anything else you want to, you guys want to share with us? Definitely come back again soon. We've had a great time. Once you guys grow up, you can all come back and get a job here. Cool. Can we have our picture taken with both of you? I'd we, love to. We'd love it. Bye-bye.